are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see another way of implementing if else if else in Simulink model. Earlier we have seen it using switch block, if block and state flow diagram. Today we are going to implement it using state flow pattern wizard. So let's start. You have to follow the same procedure for adding inputs and output as we did in earlier tutorials of state flow which is double click on the chart and in chart add inputs and outputs and you can give the name to your input and output so that's how we add inputs and output in chart so I already have added this inputs and outputs the only part is remaining is to write conditions and respective actions for those conditions so to do that all you have to do is open the pattern wizard so in chart add pattern in chart and decision so before selecting the type of decision you should be clear about the number of conditions that you want to add and the flow of the condition since i'm going to check two conditions and the Last condition will be the else. So I'm selecting if else if else. Okay, so select it. So when you do that, the straight flow pattern wizard is open. So in this window, in description, type the description, whatever you want. So just writing it as temperature check. Okay, now if condition, if my temperature is greater than threshold, then the heating command should be equal to minus 1 else if the temperature is less than threshold then the heating command should be plus 1 so temperature less than threshold heating command should be plus 1 and the else action that is heating command should be 0 that is if my temperature is equal to threshold the heating command should be zero so click ok and your state flow is ready so save this model and execute so the inputs were temperature and the threshold the threshold was 25 and temperature I have given just three values which is one is greater than threshold one is below threshold and one is equal to threshold and so for that let's check the heating command so this is a threshold which is the second graph first graph is the temperature so when my temperature is 30 which is greater than 25 the heating command is minus 1 when the temperature is 20 which is below the threshold the heating command is plus 1 and when the temperature is 25 which is equal to threshold then the heating command is 0 so we are getting the desired output so that's how we implement if else if else using this pattern wizard it saves a lot of time as compared to adding transitions manually and rather making mistakes while designing so using this method we can save a lot of time so that's how we implement if else if else using pattern wizard so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching